Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video for you all. Today is my 30 week bump date video. Um, the last one of these I did was when I was 25 weeks, so obviously five weeks ago. Um, so there is a little bit to update you on, but I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to try and like kind of whiz through everything as like quick as I can. But the first thing, I'm going to get straight into the video. The first thing I would say is tiredness. Recently, like the past week or so, I have felt absolutely drained. Like, I literally want to sleep all day. When I don't have Deontay, that is what I've been doing. He's just there. Give me my drink, please. Hi. Not yours. You're not allowed that one. Um, so yeah, I have felt, thank you baby, you did good, I have felt so tired, like it is unbelievable, Dance was at nursery the other day and I literally slept um, up until I had to obviously get changed to go and get him, um, and I got a taxi there so it was alright, like it, it wasn't that deep. Um, the next thing is sickness. Now, obviously, I never really kind of experienced the first trimester of this pregnancy as I didn't find out till quite late. So, but my sickness is starting to kind of become similar to like Dionte's first trimester sickness. Definitely. Jummy, you got it? Um, yeah, I've been sick over like quite a few, just silly things as well. And, like, I gag over anything. So, if I, like, look at something and I think, oh, that's disgusting or something, I will gag and possibly be sick about it. It is horrible. The next thing I have been experiencing really bad is heartburn. Now, my heartburn and indigestion, listen, this girl best come out with a head full of hair, I'm telling you. Because the way she's been giving me heartburn, especially at night... And do you know what? It's worse at night, but I've been having it a lot throughout the day as well. So it's, it is awful. Like, it is absolutely vile. And I know that, um, especially if things are tight around, like, your waist, your belly area and stuff, that can actually obviously not help. So when I feel a bit of heartburn or indigestion, I, like, kind of um, put every, whatever I've got on below my belly so that it's not pushing down and causing it to be worse. What's up, bubble? You got two. Oh, you found it. Where was it? Thank you for finding it. Sorry about that, guys. I lost it. He lost his new dummy the other day and we was literally looking for it for ages. Anyways, the next thing um, is I have had my anti-D injection. If you don't know what anti-D injection is, it is to stop mine and the baby's blood from mixing, I think, and causing antibodies and me fighting off the baby's blood and like basically that um see i don't really know about all the detail behind all that um she did explain it to me before she gave me the injection the other day but i completely i forgot like my baby brain is awful at the moment but yeah if you definitely if you want to like obviously look into that research it um go on the nhs website do a little bit of research but yeah it's just a big injection though do you know what it doesn't hurt though the anti D when I said this with Diane as well, the anti D one's probably the most less painful one out of all the injections. Um, last time I had it in my thigh, but now they don't do it in your thigh, your bum, or your arm anymore. They only do it in your arm. I don't know if that's due to corona or what, but definitely she said to me, no, we don't do it no more in the thigh and the bum because obviously that's where your most fat is. So if they give you the option as to have it in your thigh or your, the top of your bum, um, definitely go. If you've got obviously a, like a lot of fat on your bum, you've got a big bum, go for your bum. But if you um, if you'd prefer obviously them not to see bum, then yeah, go for it in your thigh. That's where I had it with Dante and it did not hurt at all. It is a big injection, but it didn't hurt. Um, so yeah, I had that on last Tuesday. I went to the hospital, I got that done. I got my blood tests redone. Um, and I am due to have my um, whooping cough and my flu jab hopefully this week. Um, I'll probably go up tomorrow whilst Dante's at nursery. 
because I don't want to um obviously take him well you can't take him in her no can you take him out? I know you can have one partner now but I'm not taking him for me to get a needle and also um it'd be better if he's at nursery so I can relax afterwards as the them two are like the worst ones but obviously they protect you they protect your baby so I will get them um the next thing I would say about the anti D injection is not everybody has to have it as either so I have to have it like I will always have to have it and it prevents um miscarriages and like problems for your next pregnancy rather than if it's your first baby um I don't think it does as much harm because your body's obviously not used to their the antibodies that it's bringing and all the blood and whatever but I know that if it's your second baby like this is mine because obviously he he was the same he didn't have the same blood as me so my body already tried fighting them off which means my body is now like they'll mix and it's just it's really really bad so yeah I will obviously have to have it each pregnancy which is completely fine I will have to have it um just after birth I think as well um I did with him so yeah that is what's going to be happening with that she said um I have a midwife appointment tomorrow um just a basic you know check the heartbeat check my belly growth um just a check up nothing there's nothing going wrong with my pregnancy so far um like obviously touch wood and whatever but yeah so she's just coming around for a little check up same as last time i don't have any more um nhs scans booked in i am all done for nhs scans um i am going to go in private though i want a 4d scan but i'm scared that it's gonna like show me what she looks like and then ruin it when she's born so i don't know but i definitely am we are going for private scan so i'm going to be taking diante to that so he can like see as they've just started to let partners one partner in now for the 20 week one and the 12 week one which i think is amazing um well that is for leicester hospitals anyway i'm not sure about anywhere else so pardon me so if you're from anywhere else like i don't know what your rules are but ours are that we can have one person there now birthing partners have gone back to two which is amazing for me um i was originally just gonna have one obviously but two that's amazing because if i want someone else i can have someone else um so yeah i'm really really happy about that um definitely i have seen my bump get massive over these five weeks literally my bump went from i was already like big but now it is like huge i'd say um so afterwards i feel i'm gonna keep a lot of this baby fat you know i don't think it's gonna go how diante's did like diante's made me look thick um like i just lost it from my belly and it made me look like really nice and thick and then i went i ended up going really skinny at one point when i got depressed and then just never ever could put it back on so yeah i'm hoping she makes me look thick because your girl obviously wants to uh but yeah like there's not so much to update you guys on i'm just gonna turn these off so probably takes a couple more sleep now um what else was i gonna tell you guys about um the other the, having my bloods done the other day they said that you have to have that done now like every time before you have um a like any injection i don't know why like but i just turned up to the hospital and like they're saying oh you're going in that room you're having your blood done and i'm thinking why but i don't know again yet again it might be due to what's going on i don't know but yeah um i got a letter actually like an hour ago through the post it's just behind me and it's saying about i have a like a appointment with the doctor and it says i don't understand what it's for it says um clinical he hematology i don't know what that is i'm gonna have to do a bit of research but i'm gonna ask my midwife tomorrow because i'm really confused to what it is um but it's on the phone with the doctor so it can't obviously be that bad but yes i want to obviously know what it is because i'm a bit scared now because i have no idea but I don't have yet any problems. She's so active. The past few days as well, she's just literally been like, I swear to God, it's like a play area in there. It must be because this girl has been so active. It's unbelievable. 
um i have pretty much like everything for right now literally getting the pram at the end of this month um and like the car seat and everything i had changing bag i can order that actually whenever now i might order that in a minute whilst i've remembered because i forgot about that i'm ordering mine i'm not going to sit in the shop to buy it so yes um when obviously that is here i will show you guys that but i have pretty much everything i need um clothes wise i've just got a stock up on you know like the baby lotions and the um like bath time bedtime massaging all of that good stuff but they're like literally like a pound two pound from the shop which i'll probably get today as well because i'm nipping into town um so other than that like i think i have everything i need um i literally have eight weeks and if i'm 31 weeks and three days i've got what eight weeks and six eight weeks and four days something like that so yeah i've not even got long left now and it is flying by so before you know it, i'll be doing a 35 week bump date and then the next five weeks after that will be like whether she's due like if i'm overdue if i've had her might be my birth vlog you guys are seeing like literally less than 10 weeks away in 10 weeks i will have my baby here let's just say that because you know you can go two weeks over if they let me um but yeah i've got so many i'm packing my hospital bag this week because my midwife and all that said to start packing it now so that's what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pack my hospital bag then put every just put everything in the bags then i'm gonna wash it like whilst it's in the bags so that it's easier for me to i'm not putting them back in the drawers after i've washed it for them to put in the hospital bag because when i wash all of our clothes then they can go back in there like i have it all planned out of my head so that is what i'm gonna do but yeah my bump i swear to god i literally can barely see my feet now um it's crazy like i'm getting so big um it's but i don't even know how i can't even show you guys like how big it says because my my notes are actually downstairs and i went up here so i read it to you but yeah like i'm really really excited now um i'm really tired but they're saying like someone said to me the other day oh be careful now because the flu is coming around you know the like this time of year flu and cold where everyone just becomes ill so people are saying to me oh just be careful where you go in be careful what you're doing but obviously listen we're going for, we're going through covid right now like do you know what i mean it's a little flu at the moment isn't as deep as if i was to catch that but no everything's all good um diante's good diante are you happy you're having a sister are you happy yeah yeah take your dummy out and tell me is that her is that her um bed there yeah you sit in her bed don't you yeah you do i come in here and he sits in her bed like he actually goes and sits in her crib and then he goes here sister say it say sister sister you, he's really he's getting really good at his speech but yeah i can't wait um i try and include him in my pregnancy as much as i can just like whilst obviously all this is going on because i don't want him to feel left out in any way um i want him to be like really involved Baby. babies ones here aren't they yeah they're your blankets in there um but yeah i've not got much more to update you guys on just that pull it pull it pull the drawer out pull the drawer you can do it you can do it there you go but yeah um there's not even anything more to update you guys on i don't think come here because there's my straighteners are um, turning off there um but yes if you follow me on my social media you will also know obviously what goes on when i'm not updating you guys the actually the last thing i'm going to mention is my restless leg syndrome which i mentioned last time and you know what it's getting a little bit better um i suppose it's not been as bad but oh my god when it is like it come back last night 
um for a little bit and it was horrible like it was it was absolutely vile um and my iron is actually quite low um hence why i look so pale i constantly look drained i am tired but that's not like i'm not not getting enough sleep because he sleeps obviously through the night goes to bed at a normal time i get enough sleep um so yeah it's my iron i need to pick up some iron tablets because i i'm not getting enough iron for some reason well i think for some reason but i like to eat steak and stuff like that and i don't eat things like liver and that that have I, a lot of iron in which obviously i should but yeah my iron is really really low so other than that like everything's going okay um i'm okay diante's okay baby girl's all right um people have actually messaged me asking if i'm gonna do a name reveal before she's born um i'm just gonna address in this video no i'm not going to be doing a name reveal before she's born um as i want to wait until she's born and then i can announce it then um yes obviously when she's born she could be she could come early so the videos i have planned out for the rest of my pregnancy some of them might not be able to happen if she's early um i have a feeling she's going to be late personally so you probably get that 40 week bump date but what's up stop being mardy at everything what yeah well you can't climb in her crib um but yeah you might even get that 40 week bump date because i think she's gonna be late i'm not gonna lie um but yes i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you know you've kind of got idea of what's happening in my pregnancy at the minute not too much is happening just kind of like getting all the last little bits i've got to get for her now definitely packing my hospital bag this week so that video will be out probably next week um of my hospital bag and then her hospital bag will be in the separate video so let's say i bring my one out on the monday i'll bring hers out on thursday or whatever so yeah stay tuned for that make sure you put the notifications on for that um and subscribe so you don't miss any of my pregnancy videos i have quite a few exciting ones coming up now especially now i'm towards the end so when i get my push chair i will be unboxing my push chair on camera for you guys giving you a little review of it um as to what i think what else i have got my belly casting kit yeah. yeah you leave that my belly casting kit that i'm going to be doing in the next few weeks i've got my newborn essential video i'm going to be recording when i have a bouncer i will record that just need to get that now that's like pretty much the last item furniture kind of thing i need to get um other than that yeah hauls there'll be loads of hauls just of me of diante's clothing of her clothing of her things whatever coming up um i'm trying to give you guys a brief as to what videos i have planned what else do i have planned i was gonna do a room tour for um i think it's like last week's video but i thought there's no point me even doing that because like there's nothing even exciting in my room to show you it's just storage basically um but yeah i i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up i will see you on thursday in thursday's video um whether it be a vlog or a sit down video i'm not sure yet whichever one i decide to bring out but yeah i definitely want to do some more autumn videos so please let me know either down below or message me some autumn type videos because i'm gonna do like hauls and stuff but i just don't know where to get the stuff from it's TK Maxx is rubbish at the moment. Everywhere's just rubbish. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Make sure you subscribe and put the notification bell on. I want to see my subscribers at 300 by, by Thursday, okay? We're near enough there. So, let's get to 300 subscribers. Um, Thank you for all your support. And I will see you in my next video. My social medias are down below in the description box as well. So, make sure you go check them out. Bye. bye. Say bye. bye.